With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. The Browns take over first and ten. Let's go, at their own 30 yard line. Ready? So first and ten now from the 30. I'm here on this. Out of two kill. Two kill. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Ready. Ready. Six man. From the gun, it's Breeze. Looking for Landry, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. 11 yards and a Panther first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Check, check. Frank, no. Hey, alert, 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 alert. On the run, this is Jackson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and his own line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst. Nice gain, too. On second down now. It's Jackson. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. On first down, Jackson. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down, it's Jackson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Set on 80. 54 Mike. Tighten up, tighten up. Oh, my touch. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. 
Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. The flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this is caught for a touchdown. We'll check the flag, but it looked like a clear offsides, and it should stand. And, yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Bryant tacks on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. This is taken at his four. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And quickly to his tight end, Clark. That's caught. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. That throw good for four. It's second down. At the 29-yard line. Ready. Second and six, no, just ready. inside the 30. Go, Let's go. Right, now a give running right, it's Cook. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. He lost two there, and it's third down. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys and continue to keep under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Brian Burns in there for the sack on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They do go for it. It's Breeze. He's going to go for a big in a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick, and they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. From the 44, Mayfield. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Man open, Rice! And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. First target, first catch, and a first down. 
think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing Mayfield. Now Mayfield lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. The first down play, to be frank, nothing short of awful. And now they have to deal with second and very long. And he's going to go down again. On the corner blitz that time, the sack goes to Denzel Ward. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Third and long for Mayfield. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. Well, from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They start the drive with Cook. And he will make his way back to where he started from, and that's all, as we will make our way to the two-minute warning. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of his first half of action. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. 12 yards there and a first down. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. They go play action here on first down. And complete right side to Cook. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. A gain of four on the play, and that'll bring up second down. On the ground, it's Cook. He's got a first down past the 30. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. This Ready. offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to the ground, this time it's Chubb. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. take a shot but it's third down <laughs> I'm laughing to myself because I could just hear in film session but coach I was throwing to Dodell Beckham Jr. Of course I thought he was open. <laughs> They'd love to go deep downfield to him, though. Such a threat. Yeah, a rare incompletion because most of the time we expect him to actually come up with the catch. Here we go, here we go. On third and long, it's Breeze. And that will be incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Now Brown. 
It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. To throw Mayfield. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And, and he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Let's go one more. Hey, away 33. Hey, alert, alert, alert! Hurry, hurry! Mayfield. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 22 yards there, a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Right hurry, hurry. Touch. Here's Mayfield. Escaping the pressure right. And avoids the contact by sliding. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Now, those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. He's going to let this go. Back of the end. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. 